Okay, so I'll show you how to um, start up your uh, Apple TV and then um, you're going to need this because this is your um, uh, it's unfortunately it's yeah it's a it's a beta so basically there's a lot of bugs on it it's still brand new uh, the version that we're using but uh, it's the only version that will work on iOS 5 right now so until another one comes out of course if the one comes out I'm going to uh, fix mine and then uh, I can fix yours but for now this is what you're gonna see when you plug in your Apple TV right on your screen so how to get rid of that and every time your um, Apple TV is gonna freeze because sometimes when you click on a link for a movie they don't all work and your Apple TV will freeze you're gonna have to reset it it's really easy but uh, I'll just give you an idea of how it is so I have my computer unfortunately uh, right beside my TV I don't have a laptop but it's really easy so I downloaded a, a program called um, Season Pass. It's going to be on your flash drive. Uh, so just save that on your desktop because you're probably going to use it for now. And then um, I'll show you how to how to do it. So, okay, so I have an antivirus that says, yeah, um, I just want to allow that because it, it didn't want it, didn't want to start it, but I allowed it. So, um, okay, so basically. Yeah, anytime it freezes or if you have to move your Apple TV to another room or unplug you know the outlet that it's from you're gonna have to restart it uh, unfortunately so um, okay it's, so it's starting to load I don't know why it's taking so long but whatever the less Apple TV okay so yeah this is mine oh this is yours um, just take out the HD hold on one sec take out the HD connection and take out the Ethernet See, I'm doing this with one hand. Skills. Okay, so make sure. So all we're gonna have right now, yeah, is just the plug-in. Okay, so make sure you just plug it in. Make sure it's close enough that you can plug it in to your USB. Okay. So, uh, hold on. Okay, so hold on, one sec. Okay, so what we have here is the season pass. So it's opened up. There's gonna be two things you can click on. Uh, but again, yeah, just wanna make sure you have your USB and your power connected right now. That's all. You're gonna click on the right one, which is called boot tethered. Click on that, and it's gonna say yeah, waiting for a device to put in DFU mode. So you're trying to reset it so it starts up again. So you got to get your remote. And you got to click on these two buttons, menu and play. So you're going to click on that. Click on both of them. Hold them for about seven seconds. Okay. You'll see the light. It goes really fast. So there it goes. It says found device in DFU mode. So basically it worked. So just let it load. It's gonna load um, whatever it's loading. I don't know what it loads, but uh, it's gonna load a bunch of stuff, and then it's gonna um, gonna be okay to to watch, which is good. Okay, so so yeah, uploading. It only takes a minute, but. It's annoying when you're um, trying to uh, find a link and it freezes, and you're gonna have to do this. Oh, I'll show you what happens. Actually, I'll show you right now since it's loading. So if you're clicking on a link, like you know, to watch a movie or whatever, and uh, it freezes, you can unplug it or you can just reset it. And resetting it, you press menu and the down button for about six or seven seconds. Then it resets your Apple TV, but then you're gonna see that. Uh, thing that we had on the screen earlier, which is um, the Apple logo with the USB connecting, meaning, yeah, you have to um, do this step, which is, which is, yeah, press the menu and the play button, and then uh, reset it. So, as you can see, it's uh, it takes about a minute or two minutes, I guess. Uh, not, not too bad. Okay, so there you go. It says complete, and um, disconnect your USB. So. Press OK. Close that. Sorry. Press OK and close that. Sorry. Okay. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna disconnect the USB. So disconnect the USB, but don't disconnect 
uh, the power, or you're gonna have to, or it's just not gonna work. And then, uh, yeah, there you go. So, now you're gonna connect your HDMI cable. I have a funny looking one here. And you're gonna connect your internet. Wait, you won't have your uh, internet, because yours is a Wi-Fi. Mine's Ethernet, so there you go. So, let's see how it looks. Booyah. So as you can see, the settings with FC settings, that's the difference. That means it's uh, jailbroken. Okay. So you're going to see your XBMC thing, and that's the menu you're going to be using from now on. Okay. So just click on that, and I'll show you what it did. So um, there's two ways you can watch stuff. Uh, again, the videos, you can go here, click on add-ons. And then I downloaded all the other the same kind of stuff for you. So just take a look. Um, if you want more stuff, there's more stuff in here. You can download Al Jazeera. I know you like that. You can click on that. And then you can also click on um, anything here that you think that you want to watch. But I don't think anything here is uh, pretty any good actually. Oh, so this is the porno that you really, really want. <laughs> click, right click it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. What you're going to do is, <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to do that, just click on it, and then it's going to give you an option of it installing it or not, and then you can install it. So it's there, but it's not there, if you know what I mean. Programs, okay. So then this is the same thing I was mentioning before. This is the NaviX. This is the one that I was showing you with all the good stuff. So you're going to be... um using that majority of the time and one thing I wanted to mention before you really get involved here is uh, yeah this is the first option go on that one um, the best way to get good uh, quality stuff so you don't get like dead links you, you know links that, that crash is just go here most viewed in 24 hours or most viewed in 7 days because they always update the newest links the working links with these most recent ones so these are the most recent ones and they probably work the best uh, this guy works the best for any of your stuff he's gonna always have some new links up in here and you want to use him the most I think I I've had good success with this guy so that's it just just uh, wanted to give you a heads up on that because yeah if you want to like go into your regular channels and stuff or regular movies like let's say you click on this and you go to the movie section you know it's there's this one is is the one that's pretty popular yeah they have movies they're updated all the time but when you click on these movies you'll notice like oh, actually bad example let's just say this one hopefully this one has more okay this is a bad example what it is is usually if you click on a movie okay there boom there's gonna be like a million links and some of them work, some of them don't, and you don't know which one, and it's really annoying. And then your your uh, your Apple TV could crash, and you got to reset, you got to tether it again. So just that that's the only one thing I wanted to mention is just go to the recent ones because the recent ones work the best. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's it.